Spring has certainly sprung, and a lot of us are taking advantage of this nicer weather by getting out and enjoying the woods and mountains. But there is a group of us who aren't just there for the pretty scenery. We've got our eyes glued to the ground looking for these. Shed hunting for antlers dropped over the winter is an annual tradition for many of us here in Montana. But before you go running out into the mountains, just like any other time you head into our great outdoors, there are a few things you're going to want to check first. Depending on where you are, there's different rules. So uh, wildlife management areas, for example, uh, many of those don't open until May 15th. Uh, some of them have different opening dates. And so the uh, best way to check on that is, is visiting Montana Fish, Wildlife, and Parks' website at fwp.mt.gov. Block management areas are also on this time-sensitive list. Being private land, they're really only open during hunting season and after you sign in at the entrance. And make sure you get permission any time before heading onto private land, whether it's for hunting or looking for sheds. State parks are also off-limits when it comes to picking up sheds, and that goes for any time of the year. And remember, you're not the only thing out there that's excited it's spring. Uh, you know, make sure you're prepared for a bear encounter. So carry bear spray, have it accessible and know how to use it. Travel in groups as much as possible. One, because, you know, being in a group is safer, but two, it helps you make casual noise when you're in the field, uh, alerting animals to your presence um, and, and uh, reducing the risk of a surprise close encounter. Also, make sure you tell someone where you're going and check the weather before taking off so you don't get caught in a surprise spring snowstorm. With the right preparation, shed hunting can be a great way to get back out in the woods with family and friends, and if you're lucky, get a few cool pieces of the wild while you're at it. Reporting from Helena, Andy Curtis, MTN News.